Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day, folks, and welcome to another segment on the bench. Here today, uh, we're going to bring you um, a real nice little caddis fly, uh, deep water caddis. I would call this one a nice little fly that gets really down deep in the pocket water. And you want to run it down in some heavy current in a hurry. Uh, this one gets the job done. It gets, looks really good when it's wet. Uh, just got a nice, nice combination of everything. Let's go over the materials. We need to tie the fly. I'm going to use a Daishi 1150 continuous curve number 8. You can go to a 10 on that fly, no problem at all. The um, thread, I'm going to be using some Semperfly Classic uh, Waxed 6 aught Fluorescent Green. We're going to be using some, uh, for the body, I'm going to be using some Semperfly wire. This is 0.5 millimeter in chartreuse. Nice color when it's in the water, looks real good. Uh, behind the the, uh, the front collar, I'm going to be using some ice straggle. This is a chenille, ice straggle chenille from Semperfly and Olive. And then the collar is going to be some brown uh, hackle here from the uh, partridge soft hackle fly here. The secret sauce on this one is going to be the Togan's tung Tungsten Bead. This is a cool brass. Cool bead, it's a tungsten, gets a lot more weight to it than the, than the other typical uh, beads we're using. Color is Green Magic, it's a nice colored bead head. Uh, Token sent us some really nice uh, materials to work with, so here's, here's a good fly. That'll get a lot of fish in the boat. A lot of situations for you. Put our bead on there. Just going to start, lay it down. Uh, my thread base. Now with the uh, wire, I'm going to uh, have that on a spool, my bobbin. Now I'll just have some pliers here. These are flat pliers. There's no ridges in them. Just make sure they get nice flat ones. I want to pinch down my wire so it's flat, not round anymore. And then I'll lay it up on the shank on the side. The front lay that down, make sure it stays on the side. Come around the corner a little bit. Now we can take a bit of a taper. We we got gonna leave some room in behind the bead. We've got lots of work to do in behind there too, so don't crowd it. Get a bit of a taper going for your underbody. And this thread will actually show through this this wire as well. I'm going to take a turn in behind, and then all my other turns are going to come up just ahead of each other. If a little of that thread peeks out, that's good. I like the variegation of the color. Looks really good in the water. I'll lay it fairly close, but if it wants to show a little thread through there, that's, that's fine. I'm just going to keep coming ahead. I can pull nice and tight with my bobbin. When it's on the bobbin like that too, I like working with it like that. Then I'll tie it off. Some good turns in behind there. And don't uh, use your scissors when you're using heavy wire like that. Get some other pliers, some little offsets. You can buy these at some little hardware store. They're pretty reasonable. Save these little pliers in that there. A couple bucks will Buy some a lot of good players. I think I even bought these all in a set years ago. See the thread poking out underneath? I got a nice taper going there and lots of weight. That's the secret. We got to get them down deep. Then we'll come in with my uh, straggle, ice straggle chenille. Just lay that in there. Oh. There we go. Couldn't see it. I'm kind of tying. I got my arms way ahead of me here. When I tie it this way, I don't want to, want to show just the fly when I tie for you. There we got a couple turns of that straggle chenille. This looks really good in the water. 
Make sure we get that tied off. Great accent for this fly. Then we'll come in with our brown hackle here, get a couple nice brown feathers. There's one that's marked really nice. Get the bigger ones. We're basically going to envelope the body with this and uh, I'll pull the fuzz off the bottom, get all my, then I'll time, just preen this, grab it by the tip, preen it back, lay that on top. And I just catch that in at like the 45 on the top. Come the tip off. With my little hackle players are right here, the little spring loaded jobs. I like using those and soft hackles. Then I can fold my hackle back. Get a couple of turns. And just hold that in with the Thread, cut the butt off the feather. And get a nice, make sure it's laying back. Bring my whip finish. Fluorescent green is a really nice colored thread here too. Nice semper fly thread. And then I'll just uh, finish the fly off. I'll come in with some Bone dry solar res. Make sure we're going to keep this place durable as possible because we're going to have a lot of fish on this one. It will keep you busy if there's caddis in there. This fly will get down good. You can see, you can see when that solar res hits that fluorescent thread underneath. See how it lights up? That really, really, really. Looks good in the water. Those fish see that. It's great attractor. So there it is, a deep water caddis nymph. Uh, thanks to our friends at Semperfly and Tobins for some really nice materials. And uh, this one, you'll definitely get a lot of fish in the net. So have a great day and thanks again for watching.